What's the deal, baby? Y'all didn't know it is the big boss how boss dog can't poke through the door here to talk this boxing. Alright, I'm tired. I ain't gonna hold you. I worked out, man, last night. And uh I got it cracking. You know what I mean? It was straight to conditioning with no boxing, but um just trying to stay strong, you know what I mean? We're gonna box today though, you know. We gotta stay ready. I probably ain't gonna have another fight though until like next year or something, cause I'm in school. So I'm trying to take care of that, you know. You know, I just need two semesters and I'm done. So, you know, I gotta be the example for my daughters, you know what I'm saying? My wife, she got her PhD, so it's my turn. But anyway, let's talk boxing. What if Canelo Alvarez loses to Triple G? Let's talk about that. Something I was thinking about this morning. You know, Canelo Alvarez is coming off a loss. So, well, let's be real. He got his ass whooped. All right. Y'all know me. I keep a thousand on my channel. Um, he's coming off that loss to B-Ball. And he's going into this fight against Gennady Golovkin, who's 40 years old, who looked vulnerable in his last fight. But the power still is there. So my question is, what if Canelo loses this fight? Where does he go from there? Does he retire from boxing? Like, where does he go? Does his, does his cherry pick game plan that he had going on, you know, does that affect him? You know what I mean? Does it catch up to him? I'm going to tell you what I think. Now, before I go into my theory, I'm telling you straight up, Canelo going to stop Triple G. It's, it's easy. It's not going to be a competitive fight. Um, I think Canelo caught Triple G at the right time, and it's just going to be it's, it's a done deal. That's just what I believe. I think Canelo is going to stop Gennady Golovkin. And I say maybe round seven through nine. I just, I think Canelo going to make those investments to the body. I mean, you saw in the uh, other fight that Triple G was in. I forgot the guy's name, the Asian guy. Um, uh, but Murata, when he fought Murata, Murata was having some success to the body against Triple G. And Triple G, you could see he was getting visibly hurt by that. So, um... But Murata wasn't following up. You know what I mean? He'll just land a body shot and then look at Triple G. Like, what you looking at him for? Get that boy out of there. You know what I mean? But <laughs> he's visibly hurt. Take care of it. But he, he didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? So I think with Canelo, if he get that opportunity, which he will, he ain't going to be sitting there looking at him. He going to finish Gennady Golovkin. You know what I mean? But... To go into my theory, if Canelo loses to Triple G, this would be an all-time letdown of somebody who's in superstar status like Canelo Alvarez. Here's why. You had opportunity to fight the best. Dave Benavidez, Charlo, and then potentially you could have fought Errol Spence if you wanted to. You know what I mean? You could you you could have had a plan uh, where you would have been making money off the. Because let me tell you something. Those are bigger fights than what he's going through right now. Nobody even knows when. Think about it. They did a little bit of promotion for that fight. A little bit. That's it. You ain't heard shit about Canelo versus Triple G since they announced it. You know what I'm saying? They did a little bit of promotion and promotional stuff for like a week, and then boom, it's quiet. Nah, bro, like, you got to advertise that fight on Showtime. They would have been advertising the heck out of a Canelo versus Benavidez. They would have had that, uh, that, uh, you know, uh, I forgot what it's called. But the behind the scenes, you know, where the fighters are preparing for fights and stuff like that, like kind of like what they did with Canelo versus Caleb Plant. Like they would have had that, so people could constantly be reminded that hey, this fight is coming. You know what I mean? So people could be personally invested into this fight and really, 
be into it. You know what I mean? And be like, damn, I want to buy this fight. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. We saw another side of Canelo as a family man when they did the behind the scenes stuff, you know, in, in preparation for the fight against Caleb Plant, you know? And that made you wanna watch the fight even more because you like, dang, okay, he's a family man. So this is more than, this is deeper than boxing. They not doing that, you know, for this fight. The zone ain't doing that for this fight. <clears throat> And that's why I sit there and say, man, like, when they tried to say uh, this fight is bigger than L. Spence versus Terrence Crawford, it's cap. You know what I'm saying? In the words of my daughters, it's cap. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like I keep saying, man, like, if Canelo loses to Gennady Golovkin, this is going to be, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be bad for him. I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't want to know if he can continue fighting. Because he took the route he took. You know what I mean? Like, he did all these cherry picking and fighting styles that are favorable for him instead of fighting fights. Look, when you the best, you figure it out. That's just what it is. When you fight the best fighters, you figure it out, regardless of the style. Canelo still has an issue with slick fighters, okay? He was having trouble with Caleb Plant. The only problem is Caleb Plant made a mistake and Canelo caught him. That's what it is. Caleb Plant started getting predictable a little bit. You know? You got disguised stuff when you get on that elite level. You know? You may be able, you may be doing the same thing. You may be throwing the same punch, but you got to disguise it. You know what I mean? Canelo never addressed that. He just avoided it. Like, oh, I'm not fighting no slick fighters ever again. That's what it is. I don't want to hear nobody talking about Billy Joe Sanders was slick because that boy ain't slick. Ain't nothing slick about him. The only thing slick him is his hair. That's it. Ain't nothing slick about no damn Billy Joe Sanders. I don't want to hear nobody talking about Billy Joe Sanders. Put that to bed. Tuck it in. Shut the door. Lock it. Ain't nothing slick about that boy. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like, he ain't, Canelo ain't just that problem. So he avoided that type of style to fight these European fighters who you knew what the outcome was going to be. When he fought Caleb Smith, we knew what the outcome was going to be. But y'all tried to justify that and say, oh, well, he was a champion. Yeah, he was a champion. But the boy only was fighting in the U.K., and that's why I be saying, name another fighter in the UK that was that's an elite fighter in that weight class. Ain't no, ain't no elite fighters. Okay, I want, I'm not gonna sit and say that they they suck. They don't suck, but they not elite. They not on Canelo's level. You already knew what was gonna happen. Canelo's gonna stop that boy. Canelo won't fight no fights where you be like, I don't know, it's a 50 50 fight. He ain't fighting them type of fights. The only fight that he fought that I would give him credit for is the Caleb Plant fight. Because I know Caleb was going to come and shape Caleb, and Caleb's going to be ready. And Caleb did come and shape, and Caleb was ready. You know what I mean? Like I said, he just made a mistake. But y'all trying to give Bud Canelo credit for fighting Caleb Smith, Billy Joe Sanders. Uh, yield drum like bro and then they make an excuse for yield drum oh well that was his mandatory oh really so now he's honoring mandatory Charlo was his mandatory he didn't honor that he didn't honor that mandatory but he want to honor a mandatory with yield drum you see what I'm saying these boys know what it is bro they hit it look they hit the throw smoky mirrors out that's just what it is. We call it like we see it, bro. At the end of the day, that boy know what he doing. And if he lose to Triple G, which I don't think he will, but if he lose to Triple G, man, he might as well go ahead and retire. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. 
If he lose to Triple G, he need to go ahead and pack it up. Because that don't look good, kid folks. I'm just giving it a thousand. That don't look good. That don't look good. That don't look good. What Buddy need to do, and I'm, I'm going to keep it a thousand. He need to destroy Triple G and then go refight B-Ball. That's what he need to do. He need to destroy Triple G and then call out B-Ball again and fight him. Now granted, do I think he'll beat Demetri B-Ball? I don't know. I don't know. And you could go back. And like I said, man, I don't work for no smoke. You can go back. And when I when when B ball when Canelo was made, I said, man, Canelo finna destroy B ball. I was damn wrong. And I made a video and said said I was wrong. I made a video and said I was wrong. I said, man, I was wrong. I thought Canelo was finna I said, man, it's finna be another he finna do that boy dirty. And I was wrong. B ball is better than I thought he was. So man, like I keep saying, bro. If I'm Canelo, I, I ask for a B-ball fight. I ask to rematch B-ball so we can get this mug cracking. You know what I mean? I, 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 I would destroy Triple G and then go fight B-ball again. That's what I would do. That's his, be that's his best way to revitalize himself. You know what I mean? Now, I think Canelo is not in his prime anymore. I think he's on the back side of it. You know what I mean? Like, he, he's on that other side of his prime where it's like he, he going downhill. But if this boy lose to Gennady Golovkin, and Gennady Golovkin ain't been fighting like that. His first fight was against Morata in a couple, of, like a year, it's been a year or two. So he ain't been active like that. Canelo been active. You know what I'm saying? So if he lose to Triple G, who had one fight, I don't know. He, he might he might want to hang it up. But y'all let me know y'all opinion, man, in the comment section. What if Canelo loses to Triple G? Do y'all think he should retire? What, what, what do y'all think? Let's go.